So the latest news from Rails 4.2 is that they have changed the way that they bind to, um, to listen for incoming requests. So it says it now listens on localhost instead of 0000. And you think, oh, well, that's a good idea. And it's a security thing so that basically unless you're on the local machine, you can't see the site. So if you were to send your IP address, like on an internal network, to somebody else, they they wouldn't be able to see your website, even if you were on the same network. Does that make sense? It used to be that you could send somebody your IP and they could look at it, and that was cool. But that's also a little bit of a security vulnerability, so you can't do that anymore. The way to fix it is to start with this dash B option, and you can say 0000. Now the thing is, is in a lot of the applications we build, we use ngrok. Ngrok is affected by this change. So because of this, if you use ngrok, you'll be really confused because you'll be running your server and ngrok will say, there's nothing running on that port. And you'll scream and yell at your computer all night. Not that that happened to me last night, but um, the fix for it is to either start it with the dash B option or in the Canvas starter application, I've added this little bit of code. Um, it came from this Unicorn Rails um, error report. Uh, if you scroll down, it's one of the suggestions as a workaround. So basically you restore the old behavior with this little hack right here that says, hey, do listen on 000 and then things work. So just to demonstrate, if I comment this out, and then I go over to Chrome, let's see here, start up my application. Um, and I've got ngrok running, listening uh, on port 3000. So now I've started up my application. You can see it's running, and it's running on canvas starter app.ngrok.com. So if I start that up, it says it's unavailable, which is really frustrating. If I come out here, kill this, put in this code, start this up. And now there's my application. So the other option is to do this. And it still works. Um, so probably depending on the project, we'll want to pick and choose uh, which method we, choose, we, we use. With a lot of the OAuth or LTI related apps that we build where we use ngrok all the time, it might make sense to just include this just because that's handy. Um, Either that or everybody has to remember to use the dash B option all the time. So just not sure which is best, but there you have it. There's also another default option for which port. I was just asked that to you. We've, we've changed that in pan open, well, in other apps, so that um, we can run and develop multiple apps at the same time. So are you talking about on the command line or just setting it by default? setting it by default so that we don't have to remember all of that. Okay. So that regardless, you can always just hit Rails server and have it work, so. Okay. So I might experiment with this and move it into an initializer. Right now it's in boot.rb, which it might have to be in boot.rb because I'm guessing this has to happen before Rails starts at all. Um, you're essentially monkey patching, so. Yeah. So this is a hack. I, I don't really love having this sitting here in the code, uh, especially 
later on at some point people will be like why is this here which is why I, I put some comments but uh, I don't know aside from everybody remembering to always use the beat the dash B option I'm not sure if there's a better way all right so that's it for today